Walker. Go ahead and bring him in. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. The purpose of Army Medicine then is still the same today, taking care of soldiers. Army medicine touches every aspect of Army life, from ensuring troops are up to the challenge to keeping them fit to fight. We guarantee quality health care, food safety, dental and veterinary care, medical operations and logistics, and much more. Whether it's an air medical evacuation officer, physical therapist, or medical operations intelligence officer, or one of the many other specialties, one of the best things about Army medicine is the people you get to work with. Army medicine community is really unique in that we are a very small, very diverse group of individuals. So you have administrators, you have veterinarians, you have psychologists, doctors, you have all of these brilliant people surrounding you. So if nothing else, you are surrounded by a very smart, very determined, very knowledgeable group of people. So at the end of the day, we really want to help people and you really see that attitude come out and shine and that's what really makes me love this job. With over 80 areas of concentration in six cores, Army Medicine offers opportunities to officers with a wide variety of degrees and specialties. The Medical Service Corps is very diverse. You have the opportunity to be an administrative specialist, but you can also be a clinical specialist. We have pharmacists, we have entomologists. There's just so many different areas within the Medical Service Corps. Even if your college degree is not specifically in healthcare, you can still be commissioned into Army Medicine. You can be a pilot in the Medical Service Corps and fly medevac, and that was unknown to me. I thought you had to be in aviation. I didn't have to become a doctor. Uh, you basically said, you can take this big helicopter, we'll send you through some training. You can fly all over the world as a helicopter pilot. A great aspect of Army Medicine is you don't actually have to have an undergraduate degree in something medical to join Army Medicine. You can be a history major, poli science major, and you can still be a 70 Bravo Medical Service Corps officer and serve in Army Medicine. The Army has a Health Profession Scholarship Program to help pay for your advanced medical degrees. The Health Profession Scholarship Program allowed me to go to medical school with the military paying for it. They provided me a stipend throughout medical school, um, so I was essentially paid to be a student. I did not have any medical school debt, I did not have any undergrad debt at that time, and I'm very fortunate to have the scholarship help me with all of that. Another benefit of joining the Army Medical Department is the opportunity to pursue a master's degree while on active duty. As soon as you hit captain, you have the opportunity to go back to school to get a graduate degree. Just that opportunity alone is, is remarkable. The Army has such a robust postgraduate long-term health education. So the long-term health and education training program is the scholarship that allows you to go back and get advanced degrees uh, while receiving a stipend from the Army, a full pay as a captain, um, and they also pay your tuition. Providing excellent medical care is just one of the many ways Army Medicine gives back to those who risk their lives to defend our freedom. What's unique about serving in the military is you get the opportunity to take care of wounded and their families. Not only is the care in particular from a surgical perspective complex, but also the emotional and overall care of the soldier and their families, and that's something you're not gonna get anywhere else. You also get to give back the things that they had to sacrifice for you to be the doctor that you are. And I think that's something that is priceless. You'll even work in the most advanced medical facilities using state-of-the-art equipment. Brooke Army Medical Center is hands down the nicest hospital I have ever stepped foot in. The high-tech facilities that, that all physicians dream of is in this hospital. One of the great things about being an Army medical professional is the chance to train, lead, and develop soldiers. There's, there's nothing better than being able to, to lead troops and being able to teach, coach, and mentor. And the best part is seeing that big smile on their face when they get the answer that, they, that they've been looking for. 
As an Army medical officer during deployment, all of your military, medical, and leadership training come into play. Providing care in an austere environment with limited resources is a unique experience. You really have to learn to rely on yourself and to rely on the people around you to get what needs to be done done with your patient care and with transport. If you go downrange and you deploy, you get to test your mental agility to really action some of those thoughts in your head saying, hey, I've got the situation and I need to make a decision and it really tests your ability to make those decisions. One of the most fascinating aspects is performing your job in countries around the world. I got to travel to Russia and study at the University of Moscow. I got to attend summer training programs at the University of Utah where I studied Arabic. I went to Tahiti, Tonga, Fiji, uh, American Samoa. I've been very fortunate to, to travel all over the Pacific. It was really a, a valuable time of my life. With the scholarship programs, travel opportunities, graduate school, working with state-of-the-art equipment, treating service members and their families, Joining Army Medicine will be the best decision you will ever make. I think the Army is the best professional decision I've ever made because constantly I'm challenged every single day and every single day I'm getting better. I'm extremely happy with my decision to become an Army nurse as it has given me so many opportunities that I would not have had if I had not have joined. If I had to go back and make a decision again, I would have not a single second of a doubt that this has been the best decision I have made. Being in the Army Nurse Corps in the Army for the 29 years that I've been in, it was the best decision that I could have made for my life. I do still believe, even 10 years later, that going into Army medicine is the best decision that I've ever made. And the only part of it that I regret is that I didn't go sooner. In Army medicine, we embrace the past. We engage in the present and envision the future.